Hey guys, today I am going to talk about if anime saved Magic the Gathering. So I'm in a very good mood. Magic the Gathering has done incredibly well over when you look at it as an investment over the S&P 500 recently, and I look at it as diversification. So I was a little surprised to see Hanju Miku. Uh, Miku obviously is a very famous anime, vocaloid, like VTubers type of deal. And uh, also Cowboy Bebop. I didn't realize Cowboy Bebop was going to have a secret lair. Only available in Japanese. But I grew up watching Cowboy Bebop. And a lot of people do like Hanju Miku, including my girlfriend. So kind of shocked to see these animes, but then kind of not shocked. Ever since Magic started doing anime and Jumpstart, I think Jumpstart might have been the first one. Maybe you could argue that War of the Spark, right? The Japanese War of the Spark was anime themed. But I think Jumpstart was the one where it really got good. Yeah, they have anime for the majority of these cards now. And it's been really, really good. Anime is getting more and more popular. We just actually watched the Spy X Family movie. Uh, it was a one-week movie thing. If you purchase the popcorn in the drink, which is made from very cheap plastic, currently there's an eBay auction right now at $82 with bids, with active bidders, and that's how much it goes for. Anime is really, really good right now. I think a lot of people have culturally accepted it. It's no longer for those weird kids. Anime, manga, half of Barnes & Noble's is dedicated to anime, merchandise, or mangas. And then you talk about movies like Spy X Family that did very good. Demon Slayer movie. They've done relatively well. And even uh, to the point that Marvel, they've done What If, right? With different anime versions of it. Star Wars anime, like cartoons styled in anime fashion. And the uh, one that I love is the X-Men anime version. I thought that was very good. Uh, that's a little bit older one, right? So C Cowboy Bebop from the Odin days. Uh, Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, one of my favorite shows. Uh, they are also doing Fallout. They have done a very good job of Universe Beyond. You got to give them credit. Their stock has gone up. Cynthia Williams is gone now, and it looks like they're going to do even more anime with her gone. And I was a very, I was somewhat skeptical of Universe Beyond. I felt it was a little cheap, right? Kind of cheapens the uh, brand, right, by associate. But then, at the end of the day, like, most people are super casual. That's what you have to understand. This entire game is by casual people. And I didn't get that. And because I, I, for the longest time, I had no idea why people were buying my dual lands. And, like, why would they want that many of them? It's just casual players. Casual players playing random stuff, Universe Beyond, Warhammer, uh, Lord of the Rings. I didn't think Lord of the Rings would do as well as it does. I Now, I think Fallout is going to crush it because Fallout Prime Video has seen 65 million viewers, including myself and my girlfriend. We both really enjoyed watching the Fallout videos. So I thought that was very good. So they, they, I mean, Fallout, the the uh, TV series came out, uh, then the Universe Beyond, Lord of the Rings. And that's why I think there's definitely an Amazon Connect here. Because every time Amazon comes out with a new, new old product, I mean, it is a lore from the old, so it's not like they created the IP. So whenever Amazon buys an IP, Wizard of the Coast does really, really well. And I am kind of shocked to see Cowboy Bebop, but I'm even more shocked to see uh, Hanzu Miku. And she's a big one. In anime, she's big. We have multiple anime figures. We have like a shrine built to her, if you will. So we're definitely going to pick up some Hanzu Miku cards, probably a play set of each. So hopefully they, they come in foil, non-foil. And they actually have four sets of them. So I did not realize that either. There's four of them. There's four sets of six. So they're really milking the bejesus out of me right now, right? Uh, I mean, four sets of six is not a small amount of money to pay, guys. That's 24 different sets. That is a lot of money, man. That is a lot of money. Modern Horizon 3 looks pretty good. Uh, they have new cards, new artwork. You know, that's been my biggest complaint is when they just reuse the same cards. But, hey, if it's new artwork, I think that's great. Um, I think... Uh, 
that that's what I would rather see are new artwork, new new frames, new borders. It's uh, interesting stuff, right? It's definitely interesting stuff. So I, I do think Magic the Gathering is heading in the right direction. And I, w I would be the first one to say that it's not, right? But it is. Things are going well. Sales are up. They're selling more. Then Lord of the Rings was the best-selling set. And then Fallout was the best-selling set. Whatever Amazon product buys, they buy next. I guarantee you that set will sell even better than Fallout. Um, just straight up, right? Um, the Adrazis are really popular. Man, it's uh, it's kind of interesting to really look at the and then uh, the Black Lotus, the CGC Pristine Ten, sold for three million dollars. So you got waifus, you got anime cards. I I think it's um maybe we get a Hollow Life Secret Layer right with Goro Guru right. Um, we might get like a lot of very, very interesting stuff coming soon and harmonize like a lot, a lot of this stuff. I, I didn't think it would work, but it's working and it's every IP on a transformers. It's literally every IP. And that's what Hasbro is really good at. They're good at making toys with other people's IPs. They, their own IP sucks. Right, Jay's, Raska, none of these people are like relevant. No one even knows or cares, right? There's no, there's very few, like maybe there's like a Liliana collector here, like one of Liliana, but it, probably not. But there, I promise you there's a Hanju Miko collector who will probably buy this and that's probably me. I, I promise you that for these IPs that they're much stronger than the Wizard of Coast IP, which is very weak now. Who, who the hell cares what Jace is doing or Chandra? Is Chandra straight or gay? Who cares? No one cares, right? Minus the one person who cared and then banned the uh, writer of the book. Um, Seinfeld. Like, we make these jokes about how ridiculous some of these universe beyonds are. But they make a shit ton of money, guys. They make a shit ton of money. So, what, what are you going to do, guys? What are you going to do, right? Uh, so, what... Uh, World Breaker, Adrazi Temple. You got Ugin's Labyrinth. That's a really good one. A lot of uh, Adrazi Winter might be coming, and that's kind of interesting. Um, for modern, at least. Not Pioneer, because obviously this is not legal in Pioneer. Uh, more Adrazi cards from the deck leaked. Yeah, it, it's it's fun, right? Um, it's It's kind of a fun, exciting time to be a Magic player. Ain't gonna lie, it's, uh, you no, know, really turned around for me. Went from, like, bankrupt to now on the top of the hill, house on the hill. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.